What up everybody, what's happening? Welcome to another video. Thank you for being here. It is with deep gratitude that I can tell you that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an incredible learning platform. Recently, I've been acquiring knowledge around cryptocurrencies, Photoshop, deepening my understanding of editing, video editing, Lightroom secrets that I didn't know about when editing my photos. And if you're new to photography, you can learn all the basics from very beginner, intermediate, advanced. You can also learn how to play guitar. You can learn how to sing. You can learn how to organize yourself, market your small business with people who have good experience, incredible knowledge, and they are willing to share it with you. The website is a subscription-based service. It's incredibly well-priced. You can browse the website and learn straight from your laptop, or you can download onto the app on your mobile device offline if you want to make best use of the time on a commute and you want to continue the lessons you just download them and take them with you maybe right now you're unsure of what your career path might be maybe you're sure about what you want to do but you're not sure how to get there maybe you know that there's some skills that you need to acquire and learn along the way that are going to help level you up in whatever it is that you want to spend your time doing in this lifetime i'm a photographer and a filmmaker and I still go to Skillshare to pick up on these little bits and pieces that these secrets that I might not know about that are actually helping me with my workflow and helping me gain the confidence of my abilities. That's the best thing about learning new skills, right? Is it actually gives you more confidence to go and do the things that you really wanna do and create the things that you really wanna create. So in the top line of the description, click the link in there and you will receive one month of free premium Skillshare membership where you'll have access to all of the lessons and all of the courses. So you can go try it out, go and test it out. See what I'm talking about. Maybe uncover some of your unique skills and gifts that you're here to bring to the world at a time when we need it the most. So click the link below and thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. What's up, Ben? What's up, Ben? Welcome to my, my vlog. Ben and Hen. Ben and Hen. <laughs> this is Ben and Hen show. Yeah. Mm. Happy Sunday, everybody. gonna go smoothie bowls. Smoothie bowls. Yeah. Today, oh, we are cracking on with the day. The Sabbath, the day of rest. Yet I am feeling called to make a video today, which is why I'm filming. But I can't find my mother in flip flops anywhere. Babes, where are they? If you put all your clothes in one place, I think you would be able to Don't start with me right now. This is not the time. Yes. <laughs> favorite spot to get a smoothie bowl in Cape Town, nourished. This is the acai, or however you say it. Yeah, how do you say it? How do you say it, people? Cute. Considerably nourished. Oh yeah. I am nourished. Body, mind, and soul. Okay. We're here, we're filming, we're at the desk, we're doing it, we're doing the work. And now, what you've probably been waiting for, I'm gonna show you my new camera gear. To start off, just in case you're curious, this is my microphone that I use in some of my videos. And for my podcast, it's the Shure MV7. 
super good microphone. That is a little Sony Z something or other, the vlogging one, which I use for this kind of stuff. And this is the laptop that's on its last legs. Let's dive into the camera bag. All right. I hope you don't mind me being half naked. It's really hot today in Cape Town. So let's start off with the main event, the Canon R5. And I've got on it the 15 to 35 RF lens. It's solid, it's so, so solid. It's nice to have a, a weighty camera. I've had a bunch of different cameras in my life. I've had a few 5Ds. Probably one of the best cameras I've ever had. Super incredible for my my career at the time. I've had a 1DX Mark I and I've had two 1DX Mark IIs and I've taken hundreds of thousands of photos and video with the 1DX Mark II. That was my go-to camera for many, many years. And in fact, that was the, the my previous big camera purchase about five years ago. This beauty is my first professional camera that I've bought in five years, pretty much. And there's a, there's a few reasons why it's taken me so long to get back in the game, really. Firstly, finances. I'm still on that journey of figuring out finances, but I managed to purchase this and a couple of other lenses that I'll show you in a minute. Mostly, well, completely actually, from um, some very lucky crypto trading last year. I took all of those profits and I reinvested them back into a camera system that I know is going to help me and is already helping me remember that I'm a photographer. This is my skill. This is my art. This is my unique gift that I'm bringing to the world. The way I see things, the beauty that I, that I experience visually in this world and the, the magic really, of capturing it through photos or video and being able to share it with other people, my unique perspective, the way I see things. And these are the tools that I use to sort of transfer what it is that I see in the world and how I see it and hopefully bring some of the feeling that it brings me as well. And the, it feels like a lifelong mission of mine to like capture that, to share it, but not just visually, to share the feeling that I get from witnessing the beauty of the world. That's that's my job as a photographer. The next lens that I got, this is maybe my favorite lens, another RF lens. So it goes perfectly with the, with the R5. And it's the 100mm macro, f2.8. Image stabilization. Now this thing is a really interesting piece of kit. So it enables you to get up really close. And because it's 100mm, that's quite zoomed in as well. So it gives really unique images. You can, find details that my eye can't even find. It's so beautiful to use to, and to have access to gear and technology that allows us to completely change the viewpoint that we have on something. So this is, this is my favorite, also really good for portraits. that I've made is one of my, maybe this is my favorite lens. I don't know, it's between these two really. Um, 70 to 200, 2.8, beautiful piece of glass. Again, this is the new RF version. Um, very fast foc focusing, incredible image stabilization. And it's oh, just a solid piece of gear. for a couple of years, but still just with that Hasselblad lens. Incredible images from this, incredible. And 
got it with the Fly More pack, which I always, always recommend because you get an extra battery or an extra two batteries. And then this little bag to like safely put it all in and extra blades just in case you fuck up and crash it. Yeah, I still love flying drones. Definitely one of my favorite things to do and definitely, I mean, like, I love gear that gives me a whole different perspective on things. Trusty DJI, always, always DJI. They just make the best ones. And the only other thing that I have is this trusty guy too, the Joby Gorillapod Classic. These things are just fucking tough. I think it was made famous by Mr. Neistat, Mr. Casey Neistat, but this thing will hold the weight of, a, of this R5 with the zoom lens on as well and just grip onto stuff. It's such a useful, small tripod. Highly, highly recommend one of these. Oh, and one last thing, of course, the trusty GoPro. This is the Hero 10. And I've only just done a few test sh shots with it, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to um, going free diving with it. Incredible image stabilization. It's just, it's such a, such a treat to live in this time when we have so much technology that can help tell stories and capture light in such unique ways like never before. Love the GoPro. Also a little lens cleaning situation from Orms. Always have something to clean your lens with in your camera bag. And then the camera bag itself, low pro, very dead. <laughs> Low Pro um, 450 classic pro tactic camera bag. I've had this is the second one I've ever had. The last one literally lasted me like six years. Highly, highly recommend. Um, it's also got a thing at the bottom that comes out like a rain jacket comes out and covers it if it starts raining. It's tough, and I feel like my camera gear is always safe in here. And yeah, there's like an easy access to your camera kind of flap here. And um, a laptop, 15 inch laptop sleeve in there too. Yeah. And it's, it's got proper straps, like proper comfortable straps and harnesses across, which is so needed for long hikes on the mountain. Comfort, always. The more comfortable the camera bag, the better really, because you're more likely to take it and actually like enjoy taking your cameras with you rather than resenting that you have to carry such a heavy bag full of glass. So that's it. That's what's in my camera bag at the moment. And honestly, yeah, just feeling just really, really grateful that I can own gear like this and, and it makes me wanna travel. It makes me wanna go shoot makes me want to capture. You may have seen this project that I've been working on, a thing that I've had in my head, a vision that I've been trying to bring to light and have been literally bringing to life um, with flowers. I bought a whole bunch of beautiful flowers, two bunches actually, and set them up, beheaded all the flowers, decapitated them and arranged them with a big, LED, like a flexible LED light coming from one side, so it's casting shadows. And I used this 100 mil lens on a tripod to get really crisp shots where the whole frame is filled with flowers. And in my mind's eye, I am then taking this image and I'm putting it into Photoshop and I'm reflecting it and mirroring it in all different ways to make like a psychedelic, um, kaleidoscopic, visual delight. And that, that vision and that project was actually part of the reason that I wanted to invest in such a, a high quality image camera. This, the R5 shoots like 45 megapixel images because I wanna print these things really big. So I arranged the flowers, I did some experiments, I rearranged them, took some more photos, changed the angle. I maybe took like a few hundred photos over the course of like four or five hours 
till like two o'clock in the morning. And then finally, the last few images that I took started to look the way I wanted them to look. In this, with this, with Photoshop, I then mirrored them and reflected them. And I have maybe 10 different ones that I'm super happy with. Kind of unique, each one's a little bit unique. I love how psychedelic they look. And the intention of this project is to bring a vision of how I see flowers as like proof of the divine, really. I, I, flowers blow my mind there. They just, they do their thing and they don't even know what they look like. For me anyway, it reminds me of just how complex yet simple the intelligence, the consciousness that is bringing that flower into life and the fact that there are almost infinite varieties of types of flowers. Yeah, I hope that some of that comes through in my art, in this work. So what are you gonna do with all these new cameras and stuff? You're probably asking. Well, I do have other projects that I am visualizing and dreaming up, um, but mostly I wanna travel again. Fear and learning. Yeah, but what's the like saying from there? It's bats. Something about bats. We can't stop here. This is bat country. It's bat country. It's bat country. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did you have a good nap, Hen? It's such a good nap. And did you get your work done? Are we ready for the beach? Now we're going back to the beach. Because it's Sunday. And I also filmed my video too. COVID regulations in your part of the world, in Cape Town, or in South Africa, we still have to wear fucking masks because science. However, most people don't give a fuck about the rules, thankfully. It's part of the reason I like being here because it's a little bit less like, a little bit more free range. If you, like me, are craving some kind of clear, straight thinking, straight talking, open, honest communication around the current events in the world that are happening, i.e. something that's not fucking mainstream media, propaganda, mad, profit-driven agenda, corrupts, nonsense, I can highly recommend going and checking out Mr. Russell Brand's content on YouTube. He's been talking the most sense out of anybody in the world, pretty much and especially his response recently to the independent newspaper that um, labeled him a nut job and conspiracy theorist. His response to that is one of the most beautifully, eloquently put together responses I've ever heard. I highly recommend subscribing to Russell Brand if of course you're interested in what's actually really, really actually going on behind all of the craziness and the nonsense. What, what did you just say? The last day of summer. Yeah, it's the ec autumn, autumn, ec it'll be equinox. <laughs> yeah. The equinox. The autumn equinox. That's for us in the southern hemisphere down here, but for y'all in the northern hemisphere, it's the first day of spring. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Seasons and stuff. It's so interesting. It's and almost like life. And change. Everything is temporary. The, the very nature of life and existence itself is cyclical not linear. Eat your mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs>
You two humans come into the night hen. <laughs> it's an absolute honor and a pleasure doing life with you. And I love you both very much. Oh, I, I love, love you. you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> cool, let's go home. We are home. And now we're going to chill. Well, you're going to learn a script, eh? Yes. Got an audition tomorrow. Now I'm going to edit this video tomorrow. Ah, oh, so happy solstice. And... Equinox. Fuck. So happy equinox. <laughs> And I hope you guys are having a, a beautiful second half of your March. I'm going to be heading at the end of this month back to the UK for a while. And I'm looking forward to getting on a, on a flight, going on an adventure. So thank you for tuning in. And thank you for, to everybody who's purchased my new t-shirts that have come out, my new t-shirt designs, or a print or anything links are in the description yeah i'll see you guys in the next video in the meantime remember to believe in yourself be yourself and love yourself and take everything else and take care of your body and your mind and hydrate guys lots of water and get lots of good sleep and exercise and listen to your body and try not to get lost or killed. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love you. Goodbye.